What's up guys, Sam Adams here and this is a video that I was kind of going back and forth in my mind about actually putting out on my channel and I decided in the end to go ahead and just put my thoughts out there so you guys could see what I thought about this particular incident and we are going to be talking about hatred but make no mistake this is not a review, this is not a reaction to the gameplay, this is not an actual my thoughts on the game but rather I wanted to focus specifically on the fact that hatred achieved exactly the goal that the original developers had intended. Uh, of course over at Destructive Creations, the guys that made Hatred, they were pretty much trying to get as much publicity, rather positive or negative, as possible so that at the end of the day this game would sell copies and it would bring in revenue for the company. Of course, they were trying to make a decent game in between, but as the reviews kind of showed, it didn't really succeed in that end of the, the bargain there. It just it never really felt fulfilling, as some people said. Um, of course, let's back up for a minute. If you aren't familiar with Hatred, it's pretty much the most controversial game that I can remember since the No Russian mission, specifically in Modern Warfare 2. That was a pretty gruesome mission. You would obviously get off of an elevator and pretty much mow down crowds of innocent civilians in Modern Warfare 2 because you were an undercover spy guy and you just kind of betrayed the guy you were trying to spy on. It was, it was a very good mission. It added a lot to the story, I think, and it added that controversial factor to Modern Warfare 2 so that at the end of the day it sold more copies because it got on public uh, news networks so that's a topic for a different day this is the most controversial game since that and you pretty much play as this guy who's very demented he doesn't like anything that's alive and he goes around killing innocent civilians and police officers alike no matter what they have done which in most cases they haven't done anything in fact all of the cases but um this game was being built up to be very destructive and emotionally scarring and scary and you know it was a very there was a lot of build up behind this game mainly because the press had made it that way so whenever the game first came out people realized that this didn't feel like the destructive bloodlust thing that had been promised to us in the beginning and obviously a lot of people weren't disappointed about that it's just kind of like if you were like hey you ready for your birthday you ready for your birthday oh no we're just having a party tomorrow it's it's just kind of it, it's a letdown to some degree and um I wanted to talk about why first off and that's because there's no emotion behind the killing and hatred and uh, I was listening to Total Biscuits co-optional podcast it's a great podcast if you haven't listened to it give it a search but pretty much he described it very well in saying that in normal games that have this kind of emotionally scarring thing going for it there has to be some kind of character development and plot behind it and whenever you're playing hatred you're pretty much just in an arcade dual thumbstick shooter where you just go around killing things that happen to be on your screen there's not really any emotion behind it it's just the fact that you're killing things and so that's what hatred had going for it and it just kind of didn't live up to the hype but I do want to congratulate destructive creations on hatred not because I support the game I do not support the game in any way shape or form because I think that if you're going to make a masterpiece which is what I like to think of games as they are art things just as the rest of the different mediums of art are uh, if you're going to create something create something that actually has meaning behind it and um, Hatred just didn't do that, but it did achieve the goal that it had set for itself at the beginning of the day. And I hope that the developers of Hatred take the money that they're making from this particular release, because it is making a lot of money just based off of the amount of hype that was set up for this game. I hope that they take that and they make something really good, because Hatred is not a great game. It got like a 2 out of 5, it's been getting like 3 out of 10, it's not a great game. But I think that just based off of the gameplay and Hatred, there could be some good stuff to come out of this studio in the future, and I hope that Hatred plays as a stepping stone towards that better end product. So there you guys have it. Those are my thoughts on Hatred. I was debating whether or not to share it or not, but that's what I've got. So if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like down below and comment what you think about Hatred. Do you think that the game should have never been made? Do you think that it's a very clickbaity game and that the developers are definitely playing on that to sell copies? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you've never seen any of my other videos, please take a moment to head over and check out some of that other content because there's almost always something new on the channel whenever you drop by to watch some videos. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.